with a view. What a beauty it is. Right. Without further ado, welcome to our garden. That's my view over there. You see the art washing line. And you also get some of my views as we go along. Well, only one in this one anyway. Try and keep it short. It'll just be a quick tour showing you what's what. But don't forget, stay healthy because we all know what a safe is. You lock things away in it, and it's all about meanings one for us and one for them. So, less of that, more of this. Here's my fruit cage. It's a temporary fruit cage for now, it's some old gazebo thing with a net over. Um, in it we have strawberries and then bags. I'm going to build a bed next year for them, permanent bed and more in that pot. In that bit there, in that box, we have two gooseberry bushes and two wild strawberries. In the pot there, straight in front of me, is a Logan Berry. A few though, there's quite a lot of berries on that now, it's in his second year. And here, at the front, we got autumn fruit and raspberries. I moved them from the lower garden, because I won't say bottom, because bottom's got meanings as well, more than one. That is a cherry tree in a pot for now. Next year, it'll be in the ground. I'll have a privilege to grow and be free of the pot. Here we have black currant. And there's quite a few black currants on it this year. And by the side of them we have two little blueberry bushes. Which are in the second year. Hopefully they'll get bigger. I gotta give them some ericaceous feed. Here behind me. I have, oh, hello, oh. we have the bay tree cut in, which we've had for about a week, and then my cardoon, which was in the lower part of the garden, and it's like a globe artichoke. This is an old vegetable, you eat the, the leaves, the fleshy leaves, but I'm leaving it in this pot um, for the moment because it's flowering, as you can see, it's like a a mini globe artichoke flower. And then here, to finish this bit off, we have, I can't remember what it is now, it's a plum, Victoria plum. There we have a Braben apple. And this one is a Bramley apple, all doing well. And at the end here we've got a plum tree, Victoria plum, uh, not plum, man, conference pear, that's the one. And these are all in pots at the moment, keeping them well watered. And I think I'm going to dot them around this top bit to break it up a bit. The next time you see me it will be down the bottom. But before I go down there, is for Blue Star Dave. Me convolvulus. Don't copyright me on that. <laughs> Please Dave. Um, right, they're a dwarf variety. And over here in this pot. Here. I've got some morning glory. Otherwise known as convolvulus. And some cornflowers. And I can't remember what's in that one. <laughs> anyway, down we go. Doop -a -doop. That's all the rocks and stones I dug out the garden. Well, I've been incarcerated. Anyway, start with my squash. That there is a giant pumpkin. And those two there are 
Patty Singer Gats. Don't know what they are. My missus has uh, brought all these on. I've just planted them out. There we have two Patty Pans. There are two Zucchinis in this little bed here. I've got two Cargettes. Cargett, Zucchini. And then I've got here Calabrese and a row of Swedes. You see them? They're just showing, coming through now. The sun's behind me, so you might not do. And then I filled this compost bay that I'm not using and it's all sifted soil and I got four rows of carrots, quite a few weeds and a row of them other ones, not carrots, parsnips, that's the one. There I'm going to put a pond and make it a little wildlife area and I've got my beans. And then uh, what we grew last year, we saved some seed. The ones in the middle there are Benchmaster. And the ones on the very end are Balotti beans or Balotto bean. In this bed, there's not quite a lot in. We've got various tomatoes that were growing out the doors. There at the end. As you can see, it's three outdoor cucumbers, which are just getting up there. And on this end, I'm going to plant um, pickling cucumbers, the small ones. This bedroom here at the side of me, I've got sweet corn. Don't know the variety. If I do another video, I'll uh, find out what they are. And then at the end of this bed, I got three more squash and then uh, more passy pan. And I can't remember, something to do with sun. Don't know. I'll find out. In this bed here, this net, we have a celeriac. She's growing nicely. In there. and we have various more brassicas waiting to go out. I'm not planting them in the seat, it's boiling, boiling, and I'm roasting that Chinese woman roasting. In this bed here, we have well, it's a mixed bag, it's cauliflower and cabbage. Uh, the tray they were in when the seeds got knocked over, we scooped it all in, so it's just going to be, hmm, don't know, lucky dip. And the side of them here, we got Swedes. Some Swedes growing there. And in this dispersed between those, we have uh, different types of uh, turnips growing. And, oh, I'm going to get up. On to the next net, and in this net we have two types of kohlrabi. We have purple kohlrabi. These there, and down that side, we've got normal kohlrabi or white ones, and they are sprouting broccoli down there. Just past that loop. Yeah, and my potatoes. My potatoes are as. The lock garden says potato. And I've also got some in bags and sacks here. And these are all just in soil. And there's my comfrey. Should let these go to flower for the bees. And there was loads on last night. There we have a bee there. Oh, I just flew off. Right on cue. Dealt with these animals. And there's my comfrey that I've cut down to make my own feed. And this one I dug up and I've took root cuttings off it, taken root cuttings off it. And it's the Bockham 14, so all these shouldn't sell seed. Uh, I took about 20 root cuttings off because I want a lot more comfrey to make a lot more feed. 
here I've got rhubarbs, don't know what they are, ones out of a neighbour's garden and they've been moved so many times so I'm just leaving them be this year, then we get on with what they're doing there's my butts, my water butts by my garage so my potatoes, we've got Egypt can't remember which ones they are, I just say try and keep this short today this video and then here we've got my overwintered garlic I think then Man. and then next to them we've got my un overwintered onions and overwintered shallots which are uh, quite a few weeds in there that are coming up soon anyway and we've got a few spring onions here and beetroot and radish we've already taken all the radish that was in there and I planted another lot about four days ago so they're, they're cracking on there there we have uh, we got a peas we got a peas and they're doing lovely just starting flower now somewhere oh there I am hello and got a few onions there and down here we have purple sunflowers which is I've got four of them and then there's four one two three four Mongolian giants which haven't been in the ground that long and then more purple sunflowers down there another four and that brings me polytunnel right me, me battery died so we have got to walk back down right, this is 20 foot long six meters long and it's 11 and a half foot wide three and a half meters <clears throat> it's not the most expensive in fact I could have bought three of these for the same price certain companies would charge for the same size tunnel we got this because it's got straight sides and um, it's got straight sides up to about pff, five foot three something like that then it curves up um, can't get it tight because it's got seams it's as tight as it will go but it's got seams on if I pull it any tight I don't want to pull and stress the seams uh, it stood up to all these eye winds we've had and yeah quite impressed really for the price um, these also it comes with these side vents and it's, that's down both sides and um, yeah quite impressed really there was no strengthening bars as you can see a strengthening bar there that come with it but there's nothing on this back at all well there wasn't it's wide open and it rocks so underneath this He's just angle iron, old angle iron I had, and it's fastened on with an M8 self drilling, self tapping bolt. And this is that, what goes around scaffolding form. And it's all held down on this wooden frame with builder's band. You can get about a 5 metre roll of this builder's band, it's flexible, it's bent right around the frame, screwed in, that's going nowhere, it's not moving. Um, it's less than a tenner for five meters. Don't bother buying clips and stuff. If you want that, you can cut it to any size, bend it around anything. Um, and it's all secured in with three by three posts. Um, they're about, I don't know, two foot down, maybe two and a half foot. Could be even more. I don't know. Uh, but it ain't moving. It's not going nowhere. And the beds, uh, this wood, here. Yeah. I used last year outside for beds, I now broke it up and repurposed it in here for make my my beds and well they're 20 foot long by 3 foot wide and here we have telegraph cucumbers and well uh, you know getting a first size now and well, there's three of them plants and then all the way down this side then we've got various tomatoes two of each variety and over there in the corner I got the been in long um, cucumbers, dodge long cucumbers. Anyway, so if we go up, 
this is 38 mil steel so it's not you know thin stuff it's quite good what I've done up here as you can see I put cropping bars on and this is just as you can see bamboo fastened on with a zip tie and these are fastened on either end and it middle with you guessed it builder's bar and the screws bolt around frame um, yeah happy days um, then in the middle, oops, sorry, I got um, this bed's 18 inches or 20 inches wide, I can't remember, but it's there, thereabouts, by 14 foot long, and we got various peppers all the way down it. Um, like I say, I don't want to keep this too long, so we got more tomatoes waiting to go in. There's an aubergine, everything's being fed by bottles at the moment, don't know what that is. I've forgotten and get some more tomatoes um, sugar baby watermelons yeah all this is slapped as well and um, all these slabs um, they're just on soil with as you can see we suppress them that so if I do ever want to change it in here I just pull slabs up pull that up I can move anything I like or concrete involved, concrete silly because you've got to hack it out um, and it's a garden not a house or a building site um, even though my garden does look like a building site yeah, outside they've got more a couple of more sunflowers don't know where we're putting them yet and over here same spot come back look at that that's you see Get in there. You know, over there. And I'll get wife in shed. She'll shout with me. That's an old polytunnel we had last year. Um, it's a bit ragtag now, polythene, but again, that's a loose one. So once that goes, I can put a proper polythene on, pull it tight. But hey, again, that's got the side ventilation. Um, it's just fastened down to slabs, really, with head brackets grew loads of tomatoes in the, the, the last year and this year I'm going to put bags in again like I did last year with soil and a 25% mix of compost and they grew fine absolutely brilliant um, so there we go I hope you enjoyed it but before I do go we've got King Edwards here and I've got two, king, two rows of King Edwards two rows of Cara over there one kidney international kidney and two rows of wilges that we got out of a sack from a farm shop. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you didn't. It's no skin off my notes. But remember, if you watch the TV and you read a paper, then you are getting an opinionated views. Uh, so I make my own views up and my own opinions. Uh, that's down to you. Uh, I'll just bring you up here because this is where it all started. Hello. And I was going to do a piece at the table, but Jane does that, not she from Jane's a lot, but it's a girl with that, Jane. And this is how I started last year. Um, this is an herb planter. And it's made out of old pallet. Yeah. It's old pallet wood. And it's as long as the pallet wood was. I can't remember how wide it is. And that is just a bit of CLS cut down and made into a frame. And if that cost me two quid, make happy days. I'll try to buy one of them on the website. And <laughs> it costs you the best part of £100 or even more. So I hope you enjoyed it. Might do another, might not. Convolvulus. Bye for now.